Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. For today's qualification, we have a little uh, restaurant scenario, and our officer uh, will be responding to a situation here of an unruly customer. This individual has come in the restaurant, he's had his breakfast, and then rather than leaving, he's uh, been disrupting. Now, when you start walking from here to there, I'll be right behind you. When you hear the buzzer of this shot timer, that's your signal that he has drawn a gun. React to that. All right. Crouch. Take the fight to him. All right. Okay. Put your eye in ear protection in place. Whenever you're ready, walk. Sir, Santa Ana Police. Need to see your hands. Okay. Very good. Now we're going to do a simunition exercise. Now step over here, please. This is going to be your next target, and stand right about there. In this situation, if the suspect were to pull a gun or knife on you, he's too far away to try for a takeaway. So what you've got to do is come out of the holster and shoot as fast as you can. The fastest way to shoot is one-handed because the gun doesn't have as far to travel. You're only bringing it out to here as opposed to here. So what I'm going to ask you to do is on the buzzer, draw your weapon and fire two shots one-handed as fast as you can. Obviously, you can stick the weapon out a little bit further this time because he's, he's beyond arm's length. All right. Whenever you're ready. Great. All right, once again. Great. 1.01 seconds for your first shot. And we'll do this to your out of ammo, okay. which will be pretty soon. Great. 1.32 seconds. That's it. You're done. Thank you very much, Sergeant Witt. Uh, we're checking this area. It's uh, got a lot of complaints of gang and narcotics activity, so we're going to take a drive through and see what's going on. And looks like we got something going on up here. Go get out and talk to these guys. Hey. Get your hands out. Let go. Roll around. Open your hand up. What did I do? What'd you do? Riding an unlicensed bike. <laughs> what does unlicensed? anybody do down here? No, no, okay, don't, don't get don't. froggy. I'll break your Let leg. us do it. I'm not. Roll over on your Open stomach. your hand up. Open your hand up. Okay. Roll over in your stomach. Okay. Roll over in your stomach. Don't worry about me. Hey, nothing. Are you hey, I'm not going to do nothing wrong. Then, then quit stiffening up. Roll over in your stomach. Put your legs out behind you. Quit stiffening up. Put your legs out behind you. I'm going to do it. Quit stiffening up. There you go. He did not want to play with us, so. I do want to play with you. What did I do? You on parole? Probation? Well, yeah, you got a magazine. Where's the gun, Slick? What's that? Where's, where's the, the gun? gun? What gun? Well, the what magazine the goes to it. Where's the gun? Hey, yeah. I don't want to find the gun on you. I want you to tell me where That's the gun is. That's the clip that I had. We know it's a clip. I'm, I'm aware of what it is, Ken. I don't know what damn movie that I saw. What happened? It's just a damn movie that I saw. You saw a movie, so you had a... Uh, hold on. Get down. Right here, Sarge. Why do you do that? Right it. here, Sarge. All right. Hold on. I, I don't want to get it. It's right here. Holy schmoly. Mm, Watch nice, it, nice piece. It's cock. Looks like it's cock. Yeah, it's ready to go. He's got rounds yeah, in his pocket, too. Time. One in the chamber. We got uh, four extra ones. You on parole or probation? I already told you I'm not. Well, you told me you didn't have a gun either. 
I yes, you did, it. didn't you? Right, I'm sorry. You told me it was a Hold movie. On, I don't Hold have on. anything else. I'm... Hey. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hey, put that leg back over. Come here. No, come hey, here. Hey, come on. You guys are being very unfair. Nah. <laughs> Lying to the police is unfair. Carrying guns with the police are chasing you is unfair. Okay. Bring him this way. You don't have to be hard. I'm not going to resist. Don't turn your face away. Don't look at him. You know, I don't know where you guys are treating me like that. I'm not a... Let's, let's get him up for a second. I got cheated Sit that up. Check his shirt pocket. All right. Spread him out. Hey, come on, Spread dude. Him out. Like, hey. Who are you trying to act cool hey, for? You know, power down. I'm right? Spread like... your legs out, then. Spread okay. your legs out. You, you're going to be cool? Spread them out. I am. More. I respect you guys. You, guys, you know, like, if, if you respect me, you know, I'm sorry I, I lied to you, you know? I don't usually lie, but... Was it respect about telling the truth? Is this respect Somewhat, but is this... knock me around like that? Hey, What's, what the hey, hell partner. is that? Come on, I respect you guys, and you guys are treating me pretty good. Is bad. this how you earn respect? Hell no, that, that thing is, is nothing to me. You know what I mean? Well, it's not, because right. It's nothing. It's a deadly mistake. You're lucky tonight. It's, it's pretty much uh, typical for a stop down here. You don't know wh what you're going to get, whether it's just beer drinking or uh, drugs or something more like a firearm. It's a, a pretty uh, cheap firearm, a Steyr uh, 45, but obviously it'll still kill you. It's uh, loaded uh, with uh, six rounds, one in the chamber. So it's a, it's a good ending. We got him in custody without any problem. Uh, he wasn't able to bring the gun into play, and everybody's going to go home safe. I'm originally from Huntsville, Alabama. I moved to Atlanta about five years ago. Recently got married and transferred over to Gwinnett County. It's, it's been a great change. It's a really good department. There's a lot to do. Mine is out here looking for drugs. The people that are involved in that kind of activity are the ones leading to uh, robberies, burglaries, approaching kids selling that stuff on the street. I like to do what I can to get rid of it. We're gonna go check out one of our uh, apartment complexes here. We've got a lot of problems with it. Uh, drugs being sold, people buying and selling. There's a lot of foot traffic in the area. So we're just gonna see who's out and about tonight. Hopefully we'll run into something. Dude's dipping. Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> Move. Wait. He went in the apartment here. Whose apartment is this? That's, I live here. You live here? Yes, ma'am. Who yes, is that that just ran in? My own brother. Get him out here right now. 942, are you from Where are you at? Who? You live here? Yes. Okay, can we go find him, please? Just had a signal 80. I'm inside the apartment now checking. Pop up. Where's your ID? I stay here. Huh? I stay here. Why was you running from me just now? I wasn't running. Oh, well, you said you had dreads. I wasn't running. Turn around. Turn around. Baby. Th this is your son? Yes. Does he live here? No. He does not? No. Okay. 139, can you provide further? Uh, I'm inside apartment 14. The subject now, I'm code 4. How old are you? 22. 22. Where do you work? Put your phone down. Put your phone down. Slip this jacket off. What's up, man? He was in the parking lot. He took off running. So, where's mom? Mom. No, you, you, you ran. I didn't run. You said he does not live here. No. When was the last time he lived here? Oh, yeah. He been in trouble with the law yeah, before? Yeah, of course he has. Okay. Is he out here selling dope? Did you know of? Not that I know of. Where did he go when he ran in the door? Hmm? When he came inside the door just now? Did he come straight back here? Or yeah, because I was up in the kitchen. He came straight I, to this room? Yeah, and it, I, I thought somebody just busted in my door, and I was... Yeah. You know, what's going on? We're not going to leave until we find whatever it is you had here. So, I mean, I, I'm here until 2 in the morning. I, I'll stay here all night if I have to, okay? It's up to you if you just want to come clean and see what we can do for you. Okay? Just think about it. You ain't got to answer me right now. Get a 
on the ground. Give me this What I tell you? Is there anything else in this room? Because we're going to keep looking, buddy. That's, you got it, huh? So. That's yeah, it? Yeah. 10-4. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. And you have a warrant. Just by itself? Yeah. So he, you know he's bringing this kind of stuff into your house, ma'am? What stuff? Come here. Crack cocaine, marijuana. And he's got a warrant. Now you. Hey, Ma, that's Monique on the phone. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. I, I'm not answering that phone. Put that leg up. We're going to stand you up, okay? All right, we're going to go ahead and go. Get my hat. What do you need your hat for? You don't need your hat to jail, man. Come on. I don't want you have it anymore. Have a seat for me. You don't think I can get a smoke a cigarette? Though. Smoke a cigarette? Yeah. No, not I'll right wait. now. I'll wait. This stuff's bad for your health anyway. It is, but I ain't need a D. This life, life's bad for your health. Life's bad for your health. It is if you're doing this kind of stuff. Well, you understand what's going on here tonight? All I know, he busted in my door. He busted in your door? Yes. Because I asked him, why are you coming in like that? He said, I got to use the bathroom. That's all. He was I was in the kitchen. He was in a hurry? It, it seemed that way to me. Yeah. Has he done this kind of stuff before? No. No. Never? No. Never. Ever. You known him to sell or possess drugs before? No. Never? Never. OK. Well, tonight, we got about 15 grams of marijuana, 10 grams of crack cocaine, and about $300 in cash. He told me that he does this kind of stuff on the side. He sells it to make extra money. All this. Yeah, so, I mean, this this isn't the he, first time he's been. But he's not brought up like that, and he knows that. Yeah, you didn't raise him he that knows, way, did you? No, I don't know. I've been a single mother all my life. He knows that. Everything I'm saying to you, he already knows. If I well, get evicted tomorrow, me and my kids don't have any place to go. I work hard for everything I got hey, in my apartment. You don't, don't want him to come back, do you? I mean, tell him that, and we'll give him a criminal trespass from your apartment. Tell him that I don't want him to come back? Yeah. He knows that he can't come back here. What? Well, I, I just need you to tell him that in front of me so that I can witness that you told him that he's not allowed to come back to your property. Oh, that way, if, no, he, com if he comes back. Come back here. You, Johnny, d d come on, man. Talk, talk to her. Do you, do you understand what that means? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'm hoping not, I'm hoping not meaning what I think it means. It, it means you're not allowed to come back to your mom's apartment what's, what's for that, any reason. I'm just, I'm just barred I'm from down. these apartments. I can deal with that. You, you're barred from your mom's apartment, and you're going to be barred from the property after I talk to the manager. I mean, you understand what all he's going to be charged with? What is he going to be charged with? Well, I mean, the, uh, he's, he's uh, going to be charged with obstruction of a police officer because he ran from me. He bars in your, your apartment like that. The possession of crack cocaine. Po that's, that's possession with intent to distribute. The possession of marijuana and abandonment of dangerous drugs, OK? Because he threw all this stuff in your little girl's toy box. That's where he hit it. Well, it's summertime now in Vegas. We're hitting our triple digit mark. It's days like this where I just like to go home. My wife and I like to relax in the pool. Take it easy. People are out here on the street a lot more now that it's warm, so our street crime is picking up quite a bit. Up here on the right, it looks like a man has just grabbed a woman. Right here. It's going to be two times uh, Swenson. Come here, man. Come here. Get off the bike. Drop the bike. Step over here in front of the car. Right here. Right here in front of the car. Get your hands out of your belt right now. Step over the front of the car. Put your hands on it. No. The front of the car is right here. You two, hands out in front of the car. So you know why I stopped the both of you, right? OK, I'm driving along. You look like you're grabbing onto him. He's grabbing onto you. You're on a bike. What's the story? You talk to me first. OK. Come over here. 
Swedish lovers, you know, had a little fight. Okay. Your lovers, you had a brawl with her, or what, what was the story? No, we had a spat about something that happened. What? Okay? Something is about what? It, no, about a situation with somebody else that happened. Is she with another guy, or what? No, someone. Okay. She okay. with another guy. You're upset about it. What happens next? Oh, uh, she started arguing all the way back. As we're getting closer to the house, she didn't want to go. I was holding her by the way. She was trying to push away. You were holding her by the waist, and she was trying to push you away. And that's what I saw right there. Why would you be grabbing onto her waist like that? Because we had to get it together, you know? That's all. It's no big deal. But, you know, if she wanted to leave you or she no, wanted to go her no, separate no, ways, no, just... you don't need to be getting a hold of her hands, do you? No. Can I ask you a personal question? Sure. What's the story with the fingernail polish? Uh, just the fresh pictures. <laughs> they come in, they come at you, and they ask you, why are your fingernails black? So it's just a conversation piece for the most part, huh? You got it. <laughs> My electric bike should go off. All right, work. Leave her right here for a second. I'm gonna talk to her for a minute, okay? Come here, hon. Okay. Do you, do you think you're you with another guy? And what happened? He's been a friend of mine for a long time. I understand that. And then, you know, what happened here before I saw what I saw? Tell me he's gonna take me, take me home and probably kill me. So he's gonna take you home and kill you? He tells me right away he, he he paints his fingernails that way to attract other females. And then he's upset with you. He's obsessed. With he, he's upset and obsessed with you apparently due to the fact that uh, was... that you're with another that you were with another man. Right. So he tells you he's gonna yes. he tells you he's gonna take you home and he tells you he's gonna kill you. And you obviously don't want to go that route. What happened what I saw right here with that little scuffle? What was that all about? He's been he's been my neck should have marks on it. He's been pushing me, throwing his bike into me. The whole way, right? Yeah. And I feel threatened by him. Okay. I don't know. I didn't know this is crazy. Put your hands behind your back, boss. Put your hands behind your back. Yes, sir. Love being arrested? Yep. Battery domestic violence, sir. Did I hit you? Huh? Did I hit you? All right, I don't want you to talk to her anymore. No, I got your side of the story. Way. I got her side of the story. Can you take my bike back and the bike home? Jump on the sure. back here. I got the air conditioner. Okay, this ma'am, this is your bag? Okay, you don't mind if I take a look through it real quick? And, you, and your ID is in here, right? Yeah. Okay. You don't have anything in here we need to be worried about? Contraband, needles? My husband? Who's your husband? Oh, well, you got a husband who's not, that's not your husband. That's your boyfriend. And you've been living with your boyfriend, though? But you've been trying to take care of your husband? What's the story? Does your husband have an illness or something like that? Or? Yeah. Well, what's, his, what's his problem? Down a bit, I'm sure. He's just what? So you figure you'd step out on him and just for basic physical needs and stuff like that, or? Yeah. Yeah. And he's friends with my husband too. This guy is. Yeah. He decided he doesn't care about that. This is the note that he wrote to me. This is the note that he wrote. Life is not what I see my vision too bad. He's been living with us for two to two and a half months. Oh, so he's been living with you and your husband. Right. Ah, so this is part of the weird triangle that's already inside the, the, the family unit there, inside the house. Am I right? Right. Well, you know, I, I don't want to blame you for any of this, but, it, but at the same time, and I don't want to preach to you, but you might want to think about some of the decisions that you're making in your life. I know. You know, I mean, had you done probably what you know to be right in your own mind, things wouldn't have gotten to the point that they have today. You see what I'm saying? Yep. But I, I think he started probably getting super possessive of you as the relationship was built on, and then he finds out that you're out talking to somebody else, and he automatically thinks the worst, and the next thing you know, he's gonna... Yeah. He's, he's gonna, gonna kill me. Yeah. And he almost broke my neck. All right, hey, I got the lowdown already from her as to what's going on, okay? You're friends with her husband, and you've been living with them. Hey, listen to me, all right? And, and you and her are having a relationship, okay? Now, not only are you household or family members, you're lovers, okay? You can't lay hands on one another. You know, if she ticks you off or makes you upset, 
You can't reach out and grab her. Grab her by the hair, grab her by the throat, grab her by the back of the pants, shake her like that. Okay. It looked really bad. The worst thing is, you know, how am I going to explain this to my partner? You mean her husband? I don't know if I got the answer for that. That's the worst part. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't deserve this. And he's a good friend of yours, and you've been messing around with his wife pretty much since you've been living there. And he didn't have a clue of anything that was going on. Uh, was was tell me this was the story basically that they invited you into their home because you were a friend of theirs and they you kind of had no place to go. I don't know a way to pay him. I mean I didn't I didn't initiate it. It's still the same. Yeah, you, know, you may not have initiated, but you participated. So now we got to deal with it. Twelve hours. Tomorrow's a new day. One thirty two in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. One thirty two in Bush. Covers code three. Thanks, Ted. Okay, we'll still send a code three. 